I'll be fine for this one time. Little did I know, I was not going to be fine. It's the first time I've ever spoke about this to people. Someone was walking on the side of the road. Just a random pedestrian. A random pedestrian were going about 55 miles an hour. Messed up parts of his face. It felt like Hulk punched me in the face. Oh! What is going on guys and welcome to another video on my channel. I don't know why I'm this excited because today's video is not going to be as funny as my videos normally are, you know, because they're usually pretty... <laughs> oh, they're not funny. <laughs> they're not funny. Okay, then I guess I did. <laughs> Today's video is really not going to be funny though. Today's video is a story time. This is not a clickbait video for those who are new. This is going to be exactly what the video says. It's going to be a story of a stupid... This is pretty much going to be a story of where stupidity leads you, where ignorance leads you, where negativity leads you, where we were put in a situation where our actions, I wouldn't even say mine technically, where poor actions led to really, really bad things, and in some cases, I'd say karma. So if you guys are new and you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like, and if you guys are new, be sure to subscribe right now. You watch the video, then like it, but right now, subscribe, guys, join the family. It's, uh, it's, it's just a cool channel to, to subscribe to. If you guys wanna know some pros, it, um, it's sweet. Um, there's good content. The host on the channel is pretty cool. I've met him three, four, six, a lot of times. Um, <laughs> I'm just messing around. Subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, be sure to smash the like button if you guys enjoy this video. And let's get right into this. That photo you guys saw on the thumbnail is a photo from a car crash I was involved in when I was in my junior year of high school, I believe. Maybe my senior year. I think it was 2015. I can actually check. Posted the 23rd of January 2015. I believe the car accident happened the day before, which would be the 22nd. So January of 2015, almost 2015. 2014, that was when that photo was taken. That photo was taken from the only car accident I've ever been in, and I want to tell you guys the story of it. The main detail of the story is something I've never told anyone. I've told about two to three of my closest friends, and the only realize I'm getting able to explain it to you guys is because, A, I want to, it's been a long time, and I just want to get like that story out, because there's a lot to learn from the story, and B, I'm not going to be using the names of the people who were in the car, so no one is to be exposed. Please don't do your digging research. It doesn't really matter who was driving. It's not even anyone I've been friends with for a long time, but I mean, if you end up seeing this video, you know who you are. Still love you, buddy. I miss you. Hope everything's okay. Um, no beef in this video at all, but that photo was from a day and I'm gonna get a little into what happened that day and what was going on and just the story behind it leading up to what the title of this video is where stupidity or whatever was along those lines led to that so flashback this was January, which is the winter time, but this was a day we were going surfing. So as you guys know, and I even remember how damn cold the water was like around this time, the best time to surf is in the winter. So this was a winter day. We got up super early in the morning. It was two other people. I was in the back seat of the car and we were going surfing this day. That accident happened in San Diego County. So if you guys aren't from here, you'll understand that. If you guys are from here, it was in Encinitas area. Now we got up super early. We were super hyped to surf. Like we were mad stoked to go out and surf to the point where like, we were buzzing. We were on some stuff. I think we had coffee that morning. Like it was a morning, right? And so we pack all the surfboards in the car. I'm in the back. And the other person who was in the front actually called shotgun ironically and the person in the front ended up getting the most hurt out of anyone Which is actually something I regret to this day because like something I also don't tell a lot of people is I'm like the person who I always sit in the front seat of cars because in my mind It's the most dangerous seat of the car and I'm just like this is a really bad thing that I do But I'm so selfless that like I'd rather be the one to be there than someone else and that day Whoever had called shotgun ended up sitting up there. I sat in the back now if you guys know me I always wear my seatbelt like I, I don't even feel comfortable going 15 miles an hour in a Car without a seatbelt. That's just how I am. To prove to you, like, I've done dangerous things in cars. I'm not saying this, like, to just lie to you guys on the internet. I just, I'm a seatbelt guy. Like, why not? It's not uncomfortable. It's gonna save your life, right? But this day, when we had put the seats down to fit the surfboards in, because this wasn't a big car as you guys saw on the photo, the seatbelt got cut into the seat. You know what I'm saying? I had not even noticed the seatbelt was under there until, like, everything was packed. So it was kind of one of those things where it was just like, the one day, I guess, I was just like, whatever, like, it's not worth unloading. There was like three surfboards in the car. Not worth unloading all the surfboards out of the car just to get my seatbelt out, I'll be fine for this one time. Little did I know, I was not going to be fine. So we get in the car, we're heading to the beach, it's about an hour drive, okay? We get to, we're probably about 15, 20 minutes out from the beach. This is not gonna be a super long story time, I'll add some stuff after. This is it, this is what I told you, you clicked on this video for. This was just the most stupid and just 
karma-filled situation you have ever heard in your entire life. This is the first time I've ever spoke about this to people. To be honest, it's something that you guys can learn a lot from. And for those who are superstitious and believe in karma, this is a direct example of that. And I live by being a good person. Being the best person you can be will only result in good. As much as bad things can happen to you in life, overall, it will only result in good. So we're about 15 minutes from the beach, 10 minutes from the beach. We can pretty much see the water. We're driving on a road. It's about a 55 mile an hour speed limit maybe a 50 but we were going about 55 miles an hour we're driving I'm on my phone in the backseat and I know in this story it's gonna sound like me the only person who's admitted that I'm in this story like the only name you know was the only person who's not involved but I swear to God I'll get into it a little bit I was actually not involved in this I was the person on my phone in the backseat not paying attention but like I said so we're out surfing we're super hyped super excited we're just like on edge you know we're really like buzzing everyone's really hyped so the driver and the person in the passenger seat I don't I don't know why I they're neither of them are bad people some of the best people I know the intent isn't as bad as I'm gonna make it sound but this is the way I have to explain it I guess they were just super amped to go surfing just being extra dancing just doing random stuff we're bumping music and someone was walking on the side of the road just a random pedestrian a random pedestrian we're going about 55 miles an hour and for some reason I don't know what the reasoning for this was there was no reason they just decided to flip this person off and just yell F you and like scream at this person just to get maybe a reaction out of him. Whatever it was, it was stupid and no one should have ever done it. Karma literally hit immediately. About one second after that had happened and this kid probably saw the driver and passenger of a car flipping them off, cursing at them for no reason. And it wasn't in like an angry way, it was just like a fun pretend way, which in no way is that fun. Did that person, that person just watched us rear end a completely stopped trailer going 55 miles an hour. As you guys saw the car, and for those who have not been in an accident, accidents are so much worse than you guys think. That was literally, that moment of crunch was stuck in my head on replay for the next like month. Like I had PTSD from that. Not real PTSD, but like I was scarred, okay? This trailer did not move. Let me just get a little bit of how a trailer caused that and, and how they looked, the people we hit looked. That trailer had a dent, maybe two inches by three inches in like that chrome metal part of their rear bumper. That is it. There was a dog in the car. There was a person in the car. They literally must have just felt like this while they were driving, <laughs> right? It was pretty much like we ran into a cement wall going 55 miles an hour because we literally absorbed everything. That trailer felt nothing. We, the entire engine crushed in under, like under our legs, totaled car. And so let me get a little into like the injuries of this and what this stupid, decision and this just weird actions of these people <laughs> who I love led to just these injuries that I'm about to tell you. Now since I had no seatbelt on, the only day I'd never worn a seatbelt was the day I got my first car accident. I mean other than like being rear-ended a couple times. Now since I was on my phone and my body's relaxed, it's like proven that the more relaxed you are and the more you weren't paying attention or prepared for an accident, the safer you are. Now I didn't get knocked out so I just literally remember the crunch noise, whatever it is, and I pretty much had been in my seat and I just slid forward as fast as the accident went. Like my whole entire body proportionally slid forward, hit the seat, and slid back, right? Obviously my phone got knocked out of my hands, and I had broke my braces because I smacked my face on the seat. My shins, I don't know what my shins hit, but both my shins were killing me. And I was in shock, so I don't know if I, like, I, I don't to this day think I broke my legs, but the pain that I felt while being in shock was bad, so I must have hit them super hard, but besides that, I was okay. Now, the only other thing was, right after the accident, I'm in shock, it was so much worse, it was like, it felt like Hulk punched me in the face. Like, I say that, it was the same as my go-karting accident that I've talked about, which I could do a story time soon, if you guys show this video a bunch of love and you wanna see that. Now, the driver actually got knocked out on the steering wheel. I don't think the airbag deployed, it might have deployed and they still got knocked out, but right after this accident, the car started moving like, 15 seconds after and I saw my buddy just knocked out with his head like on the steering wheel And then the person in the passenger seat got the most injured everyone had their seatbelts on the front I was the only one who didn't have a seatbelt on but the airbag had exploded in the passenger's face and had just messed up parts of his face um, I'm not gonna name certain things but long story short the, the passenger was the one who was injured for the longest time Though they were injured the most they were awake So me and the passenger were the only ones awake So we had to get out of the car run around this car that's moving this totaled car that's still 
moving, leaking, probably approaching, potentially being on fire, run around this car and stop the brakes and get our, our friend out of the front seat and like wake him up while he's knocked out. While this trailer is in front of us, this dog runs out, we're all nervous that this dog was injured and we just look at the trailer and there's nothing done to this trailer. But we literally just felt like we had just been in a potentially fatal collision. Like it was so bad. That goes down as one of the worst moments in my entire life as well as my friends who were in the car. Now, we get out of the car and the passenger is just stressed about what's going on, like borderline crying because whatever their injury was, I'm not going to mention it. Um, they thought would be for the rest of their lives, whatever it is. The driver is now worried in that shock moment, you know, where like this happens to a lot of people, like they don't want to tell their dad or whatever it is, you know, it's like, you're not thinking straight. It's just that you're in a crazy amount of shock, but we're trying to convince them that they need to tell their dad. And while well, they just got knocked out, so they need to sit down and it was just the craziest trail of events that literally happened from one stupid ass situation of two people being ridiculously, pointlessly rude to someone who was minding their own business walking on the street. So when you're out there, I want you guys to take from this. If you ever done something like that, where you've been pointlessly rude to someone, pointlessly stupid, done, just made a decision for no reason, there, it didn't need to be made, karma can get you. Like, I'm not wishing that upon anyone, but I'm saying that was life telling everyone in the car, including me, because I mean, maybe I've done something like that, and maybe I would have done something like that in the future, that that's not okay to do and that there's consequences for these things. Like that kid walking on the street must have thought we were so stupid to literally see two people pretty much like verbally assaulting him for no reason and just watch them instantly get what they had coming for them. You know, like he was probably even nervous for us. Even though he was probably thinking we were stupid, it was so bad that he was probably worried for us. Like you never know, that could have been the person who called 911 and that's what's crazy in the situation is even the people who, who don't deserve that or even sometimes the nicest people. Like I wonder that to this day, if that was the person who called 911 because they were the first person to see everything, right? And that is literally a story I've told a hundred times and I've had to leave out that part to like 97 of those people, you know? Like, it's just something we just kept secret. We agreed that day that we weren't gonna tell anyone because it just felt so stupid. And I just think it's a story that people can learn from. I thought it was a fun story time and I was just looking through old photos and I found that photo of like, how messed up that car was. It was three surfboards in there. We had broke some surfboards. It was just the worst day ever for something that never needed to happen, you know? If he was just driving and paying attention, like none of this would have happened. And keep in mind for the people who were in the car, you guys are not to blame. You guys know the situation, like everyone learned from it. Shit happens, it's life. I'm just filming this video because it was a crazy story to tell. I never talked about that, so I thought it was a really good video to make. Um, if you guys like this story time, I can make funnier story times. This was just a serious video. I wanted you guys to learn from. Um, for those who are new, if you enjoyed, like I said, subscribe, like the video. That's gonna wrap this up. That is the end of the story time. The main part of the story was the lesson learned from this. I love you guys. If you guys know something that's happened to me that you want a story time about, or if you maybe think, if there's something that's obviously happened to me in like everyone's life, you want a story time about that, or if you just want a story time of my choice, be sure to go in the comments, let me know. I love you guys. I will see you in two days like always. Cheers 2019. The content is going to be improving. Starting off the year with a new video series I've never done before. So I love you guys. Stay safe out there and have a beautiful year.